During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about leaf burn. This is something that can happen after a farmer sprays a herbicide, and so right away, as a non-farmer, you may be thinking, what, you're gonna damage the crop? You're gonna have some leaf burn? That's not good, is it? Well, actually, it's really not that bad most of the time, but today we wanted to just explain that a little bit, why we see leaf burn, why we don't, and if that actually can hurt yield. Now we've all seen those fields that Brian was talking about where it looks like, wow, the farmer must have sprayed the wrong thing on that field because the crop sure didn't like it. Here's the thing, it's kind of like medicine that you take. Sometimes it can be a little hard on you uh, because the, the problem that you've got going on in your body is really tough to get. Uh, in crop fields, for example, like corn, we're standing in a corn field. Corn is a grass plant. The toughest weeds to kill in a grass field like this are grass weeds. So sometimes when you're after some of those grasses, you may ding the corn just a little bit because the corn is so similar to the particular grass that you're trying to take out. So there are a number of things that farmers can do to try to help the what we call selectivity of the herbicide, where it hurts the intended target, yet is easier on the crop. So like Darren said, it is kind of difficult to find the right herbicide that is selective enough on the weed that we're after, but doesn't hurt the crop. So what the farmer can do with all this is, number one, he can follow what the label instructions are. The companies, before they label these products, they go through a lot of testing and they figure out, okay, what's the right rate? What's the right spray timing? And Mr. Farmer, if you, or Mrs. or Miss Farmer, if you use this product, in the way that we tell you to do it, you're going to see the least amount of response from your crop. Now, it would be awesome if just by some miracle, we could have all our weeds gone without having to spray herbicide out there. This is one of the things our dad told us growing up. He said, guys, we'd be ahead if we didn't have to spray herbicide. We'd save the money. And yes, occasionally a herbicide can slow the plant down a little bit. It doesn't usually hurt yield, but it may slow it down for just a few days. So if we could, somehow control the weeds and have your fields weed free every single day all year without a herbicide, that'd be great. Well, that doesn't exist. And you can say, well, let's go pull the weeds. Oh, that's great. You're gonna have to be out there every single day because even if the weed gets a half inch tall, a quarter of an inch tall, the farmer's already lost some yield. So that's why herbicides are so tremendously important. And when we think about spraying anything out in a crop on plants, you have to start thinking about those plants and what kind of shape they're in. So what we're looking for is when things are actively growing. When you've got actively growing weeds, then they'll actually take in a herbicide and we can control them. When we've got temperatures that are really, really cool, or we've got temperatures that are excessively hot, or conditions where we're bone dry and haven't gotten rain for months, or conditions where it's raining like every other hour and we can't get a break. It's tough for plants to grow normally in those conditions. And uh, when we come right out of those conditions, when the plants are kind of weakened, uh, that's where you could see some potential injury in the crop. The other thing is when it's been really cool and wet. A lot of times the plants don't have their defenses up yet. Like when it's hot and dry, leaves get this waxy coat on them and they don't really let things in very well because they're trying to hold moisture in the plant. But when it's cool and wet, well, the leaves are wide open because, hey, uh, everything's great and, and we can take moisture in, it's no problem. We aren't moisture stressed at all. Uh, so in those cases, you could see some more leaf burn too because herbicides move in very quickly. Herbicides can move in very quickly in those cases, but normally a herbicide can get metabolized by the plant, so then the herbicide is safe to the plant. So again, this, this is herbicide selectivity we're talking about, and occasionally, yes, as farmers, we do see some leaf burn, but if we were that worried that the leaf burn was going to hurt yield, we wouldn't use those herbicides, the company wouldn't sell that product to us, and it wouldn't even be labeled for use in that particular crop. So again, as you're driving down the road, you may see a little bit of leaf burn from one crop to the next, but most of the time the plant's gonna come out of it real quickly, nothing to get that worried about, but just understand that we as farmers have to spray some of these herbicides if we want great weed control. And sometimes, yes, we can see a little bit of crop response, but usually there's a lot more benefit than there is any damage to that crop. Well, one place I would love to see leaves burned is on our Weed of the Week, it was in my field. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up later in the show.